Hi, my name is Annie and today I'm going to show you how you can make your own dinosaur habitat inside a cardboard box inspired by Andrew Sullivan's artworks in the exhibition Survey into the Cretaceous at the Maitland Regional Art Gallery. Andrew Sullivan imagined that he was on a scientific expedition into the Cretaceous period when dinosaurs still roamed the earth and that his job was to paint what he found. For this activity, we're going to use our imagination to picture our own dinosaur world and create it inside a cardboard box. Okay, so the materials you'll need to make your dinosaur habitat are just a cardboard box, any size you have. You can use a shoe box or any box that you've got lying around. Some coloured paper, or you can use white paper and colour it in yourself. A glue stick scissors, um, tape if you want to use that, and I also have some string and some of these little cupcake wrappers. You can use any kinds of materials you have at home that you think will work. And then also just some textures to draw. So the first thing that I'm going to do to decorate my box is make a sky and some grass so I have a background for everything. So to make the sky, I'm just going to use some blue paper and I've cut this one out already to stick in the back here. I'm just going to glue that in with some glue. I have some clouds already cut out to put on the back as well. Now I'm going to make some grass as well. So to do that, I'm going to use strips of this green paper. So I'll cut a piece off. And then I'm going to cut zigzags in it. So I'll stand this up and make some 3D grass. Now, when I fold the bottom up like this, it can stand up. So I'm going to glue one here. Then I'm going to make this into two. So now I'll just glue the grass in so that it stands up, just with some glue on the bottom. I'm also going to decorate the background with a little volcano that I've made out of some coloured paper with some texture. You can decorate the background any way you like. You can make any kind of scenery. You can do a forest or a desert or even underwater. Anything you like. So there's my volcano in there too. Now I'll show you how you can make a little tree to decorate it as well. This is really simple. I'm just going to use a piece of brown paper here and cut a strip of that. Probably about this much. Then put a little bit of glue down one end and just roll it up and make sure those two sides stick together. There we go, so that's the trunk of our tree. And then, to make it stand up, you can just cut some little roots to be the base. So just cutting strips all along the bottom. Then you fold them out. And that will stand up. So then it needs some licks. So I'm just going to cut a few big long leaves. And then using some more glue, I'll just put them in the top of the tree like this so that they stand up as well. So that's my tree there. And I can put that in the background somewhere. Okay, so now that I've got my sky and a volcano, grass and a tree, I want to add a bit more colour in the scene. So I'm going to make some little colourful flowers. I'm going to use these cupcake wrappers here, but you can cut them out of paper as well. And I'm just going to stick a few on top of each other with a bit of glue in the middle. Really easy. And just stick them right in the background here. So now I think the final thing my habitat needs is some dinosaurs. So to make the dinosaurs, I'm going to cut them out of some more paper. 
first, I'm going to draw them on. You can do any kind of dinosaur you like. You can make them up or maybe find pictures in a book or on the internet. So now I've drawn my dinosaur onto the coloured paper. I'm going to cut it out just around the lines that I've drawn. So now that I've got the shape cut out, I think I need to draw a face on him and some little details. So I'm just going to use one of these textures and draw a little happy face and a few little details. All right, so before I can put my dinosaur in the habitat, I think I want him to stand up on his own. So I'm gonna show you a really simple little trick to make this dinosaur stand up. All you need is a little piece of paper and you cut a little strip of it like this. And then you make a couple of folds in it. And it will make a little triangle shape. Then you can use a little bit of sticky tape or you can use glue on the back here. And that makes a little stand. And then you can stick this stand to the back of the dinosaur. So I'll just use another piece of tape. So now that he can stand up by himself, we can put him back in the habitat with the others. So I've got another brontosaurus here to eat the leaves and a big Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now I'm not gonna glue these ones down because you can move them around now and make different scenes with them. And I'm also just going to add, using a little bit of string, going to hang up a little butterfly just to finish it off. So there are some ideas on how you can make your own dinosaur habitat at home inspired by Andrew Sullivan's artworks. Be as creative as you can using different materials and creating different scenery. And then at the end, imagine that you're exploring the world that you've created. <laughs>